well, it's now three days to go, and um, I haven't touched the fire blade at all. Uh, although it's quite nice having that Chris is really struggling, and um, you know all those years of me working, you know, for a month solidly before we leave, um, it makes a nice change. So uh, hopefully, all I need is this man. <laughs> We've got a YSS shock uh, to replace the absolute shed that's in there. We've got a brake seal kit for the rear caliper that's binding. And a little bit of time. And a little bit of time, yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Um, but yeah, hopefully that's it. So I've got some brake pads, I've got some brake lines because the brakes are shocking. Hopefully that is it. Uh, we're gonna put on a dyno at some point as well before we go. And um, yeah. What about... Um... Oh, don't, no, 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 don't look, don't look in there. Don't look in there. Don't look in there. You, look, right. you looked in there. Be, right. <laughs> <laughs> Be sweet. <laughs> That's Budget Bike Battle! The Budget Bike Battle. Just taking a seat off, and it all looks quite nice underneath. Doesn't look artificially clean or uh, shit on the other scale, it looks, just looks nice. So, um, good sign. And uh, the boys have had a look under the tank uh, without taking the tank off. And it, again, it all looks clean, so. I'm, yeah, I'm not getting my hopes up yet. On the left, we have the standard shitter. It was absolutely fucked. Um, no rebound, no uh, well, just no damping at all. Um, and for the sake of servicing that, you know, I mean, I know James has helped us out, but it's, you know, it's going to be another 100, 150 quid. So this is a YSS. It hasn't got a um, external doofer. Uh, but it has got, I mean it's going to be miles better and it's just over 200 quid. Made in Thailand and this is the stuff that we buy and pay for We're using the 125, uh, the Endurance 125 series. So, I mean, you know, it looks fine. It's no Olin's, it's no, uh, no Maxton, but it's going to do the job and it's a fraction of the cost. So, yeah. What are we saying, Bono? It's all good. Is it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Finished. Strong. Yeah. Clean, re grease. Didn't need the uh, no, seal kit? No, piston and the seals are all good. It's just yeah. a bit gunked up. Gunked up. Gunked up. Shitty old fluid. Trick of the trade. I saw Bono drilling my rear disc. He was drilling my rear, and I was like, what are you doing, mate? And he's actually. Get all the shit coming out from the brake disc. Tricks of the trade. Yeah, it does look worse on this side. Of course, that it's old, built up, yeah. dust. Now you can see that's a quarter of the size it should be. Oh, minion. Less cooling. Yeah. Worse brakes. Why not grab yourself a limited edition Budget Bike Battle Bavaria sticker available in the merch store now.
it is. Dino never lies. 106.46. <laughs> so should we round that up to 107? Well, I mean, it is... Why stop at 107? <laughs> technically, you should round it down to 106. <laughs> 106. He quite 106 and a half. Yeah, yeah, quite healthy. Is that, that's obviously foot pound, isn't it? 58 yeah. foot pound. Air fuel's actually pretty damn good. Yeah. For a, for a stock, relatively stock bike. Well, it is stock. It is stock. Mostly. <laughs> what you want to do now is get a Dynajet kit and a can of air filter and a full system. No, I'm spend not. spend two days setting it all up. <laughs> and, 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 uh, flat slides and everything. Yeah. yeah. It's turbo it. Um, can we have a look at, can you get Chris's up? I can, yeah. Not his, his dyno up, yeah. Can you get Chris I, up, I, can you? I can, I can do whatever <laughs> Chris wants. And there we are. Oh dear. Ignore the little uh, tail off, but. Uh, Trouncing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. 10 foot power talk. Wow, I didn't, I didn't notice that. I was looking at the power. <laughs> wow. I know he's, uh, I know he's faffed around with some X up valves and bits and bobs, but. Wow, that's um, that a, a significant. Yeah, where are we at? You have to bear in oh, mind. Oh, there you go. We're uh, oh. what are we? Seven seventy-eight. So. Twenty horsepower. <laughs> Twenty horsepower at seven grand. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, we're <laughs> fifteen, 15 at, 15 at ten. ten grand up the top. I think you might walk it. Oh well, I just hope. I just hope that these brakes and the the shock has been sorted, the handling, because um, it's, it's all done, mate. I wish I was as chilled as him. It's all, it's all done. There, I'm going home early. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> is that half a day, is it? <laughs> no, no, it's, oh, not, right. it's like three quarters of a day. Oh, well, thanks, boys. No worries. Um, yeah, I've got, I've dropped, I forgot to drop the oil out. Um, I've, I forgot to, I've, yeah, yeah, I bet, I bet. Did it? Yeah. Right, Let's the drop the oil point. out and see how long it runs with no oil. We'll run it on mayonnaise. Well, let's hope the gearbox lasts. Oh, yeah, James! That's, that's, that's the uh, that's the weak point, isn't it? Yeah. Just, just. Why do you have to say things like that? So just, I'm just, just being realistic. No, you're being negative. No sixth gear. No, there's second, no negative in it. Into the roundabout. No, no, no. There's none of that. It's, it's second to third when they start sliding. Yeah. I've got so much mechanical sympathy for this thing. Honestly, yeah, trust honestly, me. I, I think it's a good bike. It's, well, you had it here first. It's, it's a nice bike. It's, it's even at that stage where you could bring it back. You can what do you mean, it? bring it back? It, it, She's back. It's little bits, little bits. <laughs> yeah, yeah, little definitely. Bits and yeah. Stuff. Bono has come through, and he's definitely getting a blozzer later. <laughs> We've got some Brembo SC pads in, and we also got some braided lines because they, the standard ones, were horrendous, and the brakes were shit. So I'm hoping. I mean, this master sender is. Oh, sorry, I won't touch that. Yeah, the uh, master sender is guff. And as you can tell by the first ride video, it is uh, the brakes were just shocking. So um, yeah, hopefully now it's going to be slightly better. But yeah, um, just give a quick shout out to uh, everyone at Bike Talk and the friends and obviously family of Neil, who uh, who was a founder of Bike Talk because um, he sadly and suddenly passed away the other day. So um, yeah, thoughts are with you guys. Uh, very 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 sad. Neil's a top man. Do you want to do a little demo for us? Oh, it's way better. It's not. It's not bunny hopping anymore. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Tension is re rebounds at the top, isn't it? Yeah, rebounds at the yeah. top. Yeah. Compression. Yeah. So I'm going to leave that. Do they, do they move? Hey. You try to move them. They they move. They do move. They do move. Oh no no the, the um, adjusters no. Yeah. But I definitely want to. If you look at the forks, have a little bounce of them. Definitely want a little bit more rebound in that. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, What's that? Slacker. What's that? It's electronic. <laughs> for your bum hole. <laughs> Slacker V4. It measures your gaper, does it? Yeah. yeah. So that's, 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 you just tie it on, then you, you spread. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Will's got the record of just breaking it. That's it. <laughs> it's an electronic tape measure. Okay. I've got a Bluetooth adapter as well, so I can clip it on like the top yoke or something. Okay. And you can stand it so you can download the app and you can watch it all on your phone. What? Why well, have I never seen one of those? K Tech sell them. Okay. For doing your sag. For doing your sag, yeah. It's not very expensive. It makes your life so much easier. You can do it on your own now. Okay. You don't need somebody else to help you. Yeah, I mean, as you'll see, the, the forks need some rebounding. I mean, it's not as bad as the shock, but still pretty bad. 
So just set this on. So we've got it on the the bottom of the fork on the wheel spindle. Yeah. With the magnet. Yeah. Then we've got the clip on the front brake reservoir bottle. Yeah. So try and do it in a straight line. So I've set I push forks on bang, find their their settling point. Yeah. Reset it to zero. And we'll pull her up, see what she does. What have we got there? 24. 24. Okay, so we want a little bit of preload on the front. Usually on a road bike, we aim for 15 to 20 mil. Okay. Depending on the rider, the bike, and what they're using it for. Okay. That's a ballpark figure. And probably with prefer. me on, you probably want a bit more. We'll, we'll, we'll go on the lower <laughs> side. <laughs> right, so we've got a base figure there. Twenty mil, too much. Between five to ten mil, generally. Okay. So we'll put some preload on both ends. And All right. Back to twiddle. Okay. Reset. Nineteen. Nineteen twenty. Yeah. There we go. Bang on. Cheers, Will. You, you want to ride this, do you? You being serious? Oh. What's wrong with that? It's way better than it was. That is way better. Half of you are going to ride this. Hey? Half of you. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go for some comp, shall we? Let's have a look, see where we are. Let's start doing some star jumps. <laughs> Maxed out. Maxed out or seized? We'll just leave it. Honestly, it ain't too bad, Will. Honestly, that is much better than it was. Trust me. Penetrance, you say? Yes. We'll give this a go. We just used it on the preload. Um, threads on the shock. It worked. So it makes it much easier to turn okay. So we'll leave it on there for five minutes. Let it settle. Let it penetrate. Penetrating itself. Penetration. Is it working? Yeah. Is it? Where was it? All the way out. All the way out? Yeah, it was seized all the way out. There we go. Right. There we go. We're working then. We're right. We've got it going. What you do, like a couple of turns out or something, or half cut? Yeah, I'm just going to move it for a little bit. All right. Spread a bit more lube on it. Just give it a good chance. Oh, we are cooking on gas. This is the thing that no one, it's, people are scared to touch their suspension. It's really, yes, it's a bit of a black art, but there's nothing wrong with having a twiddle. Wind the knobs in, wind the knobs out. Exactly. See what lost, happens. You've got a book you can go back to. Yeah. Just put everything back in the middle again. Yeah. It's not hard. You're hard. I think at some point it was clicks, but it's now turned to turn. <laughs> it's fine. We got there's a vague feeling of it there. Do you want a bit more time? Shit's getting serious. You're not gonna burn my choke off, are you? Might do. Okay. Just just do you want me to? No, I don't. No! <laughs> William! You're looking at the 2022 budget bike battle. Bavaria slash six champion right here, sports fans. Um, quick nut and bolt check, quick bit of a dust up, bit of a bit of a polish, and let's go Yamaha whipping. I'm actually really excited now. I mean, we leave tomorrow, but um, yeah, I'm I'm genuinely excited now because before I was shitting it. But thanks to the boys at JHS, let's go. Well, I haven't got time for a ride. We leave tomorrow, but I couldn't resist it. And um, we got some good news, guys. If you're Team HRC, then we are, we are, <laughs> oh, I can safely say I've never been so um, confident and prepared for victory on a budget bike battle. Uh, in fact, since the last time I won one uh, on the Hornet. But uh, yeah, this is, this is good. I mean, the guy from Zero on that launch the other day said that this is uh, the the Zero, the new Zero DSRX was a transformational riding experience. This right here is a transformational riding experience. The brakes are good; they're not amazing. I think we'll get we'll get by. Um, and the suspension—that's the biggest bit. I, honestly, it's thirty-year-old suspension. This. Oh, cheers, bud. Yeah, this is thirty-year-old suspension, and. You know, standard suspension really has only got a lot better in the last sort of 10 years. This is 30 years old. And I mean, I'm surprised it's made that much of a difference. So just to recap, everything was basically wound right out. So there's no damping in it, which is, I mean, you could say 
the brakes uh, uh, there was another excuse for the brakes not to work it was just diving down but more importantly it just oh it just it handles now it handles uh, I feel like I've got the front end in my hands rather than riding a broken wheelbarrow. My only real concern, if I have a concern, is the steering head bearing is a little bit loose. I think we'll be alright. Breathe in, Nigel, breathe in. Uh, but I don't think Chris has made a video since the last one, or he won't have time to make a video since the last one. And um, uh, he's in dire straits. There's no doubt about it. He is, I mean, I probably wouldn't even bother turning up if I was him. As we speak, the bike is at his mate's workshop and I think they've just bought another set of carbs for it. So that gives you some idea. I mean, I don't, I, he doesn't keep me up to date on what's going on um, or how much money he's spending. So uh, I think, uh, yeah, I think um, Team HRC is in a good place. Oh, everything works now. It, it turns, it steers, it... What's another word for turns or steers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it turns. It, it's just the road holding and the bump management and everything is just. Oh, I mean, not surprisingly, sure, it was that far out. But you know, I've never been much of an advocate of uh, a static setup. But if you want a suspension setup, you don't think your bike's right, and you want a static suspension up setup, go and see Will and uh, or anyone at JHS, and they'll sort you out. Because this is unbelievable. This is definitely the single best mod of, well I've done any mods at all really apart from the shock and the brakes but yeah single best uh, mod. Oh I'm going to the bus lane here can I? Yeah. Stop talking. Get on with it. Come on for fuck's sake. They've, we've actually got some bite now and we've got some resistance from the fork so um, I mean I, look I'm not going to lie I was pretty, I, I am still pretty scared about going to the Nürburgring. It's not the sort of place you want to take a a shit bike. It's, I'm not saying it's shit. Okay, I'll rephrase that. It's not the sort of place you want to take an, an unknown quantity and start m testing bits. But this has made me feel a whole lot better now, now knowing I can stop fairly comfortable. Dubly. But if it wasn't for the Nurburgring, I would be 101% confident that I could win this no problem. I mean, the money that Chris has spent, he must have spent, or that he hasn't declared yet um, the money that he spent on that bike and the effort it, it, sh it should be you know I should have enough of a victory even with the Nürburgring in there oh you Nigel it's illegal oh I can zip about now I feel oh yeah I just I just love her I've fallen in love again so in honour of uh, this transformational riding experience I'm going to take some uh, burritos to JHS Racing um, just as a just as a thank you really because uh i mean they are the best burritos in town you may remember my little bristol tour we did when we did the um uh funky bikes no thank you cartel cantina sounds a bit dodgy doesn't it but let me tell you these are the best burritos probably i've ever had um so yeah and uh, i think i'll just pop them in here to be